Thank you, Bartish, for your words, but also for your tremendous leadership here in Waterloo and for being such a strong advocate for strengthening uh, diverse, supportable communities uh, like this. Uh, it's really, really great to see you always. Uh, I want to thank uh, Tim and Val and Brian as well for being here to uh, uh, be such strong voices for the region in Ottawa, talking about how we're all going to work together to meet the very significant challenges that the world tends to be throwing at us in so many ways, uh, but also that we know Canadians, uh, as we have so many times in the past, can overcome. And one of the key ways of doing that is by working in partnership, which is why I'm so glad uh, to be here uh, with two old friends, uh, Karen, uh, friends I've had for a very long time, uh, uh, Karen Redmond, Chair of Waterloo Region, who of course uh, we served together in Ottawa in my very beginnings as a baby politician, uh, and Dorothy McCabe, who's a, a dear friend as well, uh, who has been uh, committed uh, to uh, this community, this region. Thank you uh, for all your leadership as mayor, and thank you for making this announcement we're making today possible. Uh, we know uh, that uh, for all the investments we've made over the past many years, uh, we're talking about uh, hundreds of millions of dollars here in the Waterloo region that have uh, led to over 8,000 uh, repaired, refurbished, subsidized, uh, or new homes that the federal government has contributed in um, in this region. There's so much more to do. And that's why uh, in the fall, we launched the Housing Accelerator. What it is, is an ability to work specifically and directly with ambitious municipalities that want the challenge, to solve the challenges of how to build more homes faster to do exactly that. So today we're announcing a $22 million housing accelerator investment for uh, the City of Waterloo uh, that will unlock 650 homes in the coming years and over 15,000 homes uh, over the next decade. And it, happens by uh, really deliberately accelerating some of the various processes and barriers, whether it's increased densification, uh, where, uh, Dorothy, you really stepped up in terms of four units and four, uh, four stories as of right. Uh, as we move forward uh, on uh, faster permitting, as we move forward on emphasizing affordable housing, as we uh, look at uh, accelerating the use of public spaces, these are all things that are reducing the barriers that exist to meeting the need in growing regions uh, like KW. So I'm really, really happy to be here to highlight that we are here because the region has been so ambitious about tackling the challenges and the opportunities that come with growth. Uh, la ville de, de Kitchener uh, a déjà signé son accord uh, d'accélérateur et aujourd'hui avec Waterloo, on est très content de démontrer encore une fois le leadership de cette région. Uh, on veut bâtir plus de logements plus rapidement et c'est exactement les genres de partenariats qui livrent à ce niveau-là. Mais on est en train de travailler à bien des niveaux. C'est pas juste l'accélérateur pour le logement. On est ici euh, dans une, une bâtisse qui va accueillir des résidents, des aînés euh, dans euh, quelques semaines, où le gouvernement fédéral a facilité l'investissement de 33 millions de dollars pour justement pouvoir créer euh, de, ce, de ce, ce centre des aînés une réalité. We're here in Parkwood Seniors uh, community where 33 million dollars worth of federal funding has facilitated the creation of this extraordinary solution. So it's not just about making announcements today for the coming years and all the units that are going to be built uh, here across Waterloo. It's about recognizing that investments we made a few years ago are delivering for seniors in this case right now in the coming weeks. That's the work we're doing and that we do because we work in true partnership with municipal and provincial leaders to deliver for people in these complex and challenging times. Of course, there's lots more that we are doing, whether it's uh, cutting childcare fees in half across the country, while at the same time pushing on the provinces to create more spaces and train up and uh, support more early childhood educators. Uh, whether it's focusing on the student population, where we know uh, yeah, KW has uh, an extraordinary resource and richness in students. Uh, well, uh, we're uh, removing the interest from student loans. Uh, we're investing in greater supports for them as well. Uh, we're moving forward on stabilizing grocery prices. We're moving forward on dental care. Uh, 
young people, uh, kids who couldn't afford to go to the dentist uh, last year, 400,000 of them uh, have been able to get dental services, many for the very first time. And uh, as of the beginning of this year, we've now had 400,000 seniors uh, sign up for our dental care program, uh, with uh, more being able to sign up every week as uh, the age uh, ranges uh, lower so we can get all seniors covered uh, by, uh, by the summer. These are the things that we're stepping up concretely on so that Canadians can see the ambition, the optimism and the opportunity that exists all around them in this extraordinary country. On reconnaît que oui, il y a énormément de défis auxquels les citoyens font face, mais c'est pour ça que le gouvernement est là pour investir, pour travailler à chaque jour, pour livrer pour eux en partenariat et avec toute l'ambition qui est le reflet des dans l'ambition des Canadiens. We're going to continue working hard every single day with even more programs, even more solutions as we create good jobs and careers in a greener economy, as we respond to the challenges Canadians are facing now, and as we continue to contribute every day to continuing to keep Canada the very best country in the world.